Hello everyone, this is Kevin here with the second video for my ACL story. So I did actually have the surgery today. I went to the Scottsdale Piper Surgery Center down in Scottsdale, Arizona. And the surgery was pretty smooth, I thought. Like uh, I just showed up at about 12, at about 1 o'clock. They gave me the anesthesia and I uh, you know, went to sleep. And before I knew it, I woke up and they said, you're all done. So definitely way smoother than I thought. It didn't hurt or anything, obviously, because I was put to sleep. And even now, my leg is completely numb, so I don't feel anything. So fortunately, they were able to use the hand, hamstring graft. And then uh, also, they just, nothing else was messed up. They checked to see if my uh, meniscus needed any sort of care or anything like that, or needed repaired, and it did not. So that's good, so my recovery should be faster than uh, it otherwise would be if those other ligaments were injured. So that's good. So yeah, now I'm just kind of at my house. Uh, one thing that was kind of bad before was that uh, after the surgery was done, I wasn't, like I was really hungry because I wasn't able to eat ahead of time really that much. I, I couldn't eat at all today because, well before the surgery because they didn't want me to have to you know go to the bathroom during the surgery. But uh, as soon as I started, as soon as I got home, I started eating, and they recommended eating slowly and not eating a lot at once, which I did. And even then, I was still feeling a little queasy. I kept everything down, but it was still a little tough to keep down at sometimes. So uh, that's really gone away now at this point. So I took the meds that will get me through the night. Basically, as soon as my uh, my leg. Uh, that whatever that was that made my leg you know numb as soon as that wears off I'll at least have some other medication now taking over for that so I'll show you my leg right now so on my left leg let's start with that so my right one's obviously the one that got the uh, work done on my left leg we have just this like long sock thing makes me look like a pilgrim but anyway it's like a long sock thing that just kinda keeps my my leg, I guess, good. I don't know. It has some purpose. And then as long I'm supposed to move around my legs, or at least my feet, so that I don't have any like blood clotting or anything. And then they gave me these uh, funky looking socks called bear paws. So I guess on the bottom at least they have like you know the the rubber material, so I don't slip and slide all over the place. So now moving on to the actual knee and leg that was done. I have this really massive brace here and it doesn't move. It's You can see, uh, yeah, there's the lock. It's locked into position. And then, uh, yeah, I can't move it or anything. And then this piece, this gray piece, is actually the ice machine. So this is kind of nice that I have this, but, and darn, the machine's not in this room, but during the day, in 20 minute intervals, I can uh, use the ice machine, which basically runs cold water through this kind of pouch-like thing that's under my brace, so because of that then, uh, I don't really have to worry about icing myself, I just turn on the machine and it circulates the cold water, or the ice water, rather. So that is the uh, adapter to connect, so one of those nozzles brings in the cold water and the other lets out the uh, less cold water, I suppose. So that's that. And then of course there's a sock thing. And then right here is my actual leg. This is weird. Like this skin right here, like if I try to touch it or like, you know, move my fingers around it, like I cannot feel anything. Uh, Basically, the line to me feeling things is like right here. It's it's so weird. I've never had surgery before, so I wasn't expecting this. And then, of course, here are my crutches. So that's really important. So right now, I'm just doing crutches. So like, I'm not putting any weight on this leg. They recommended that I do that until the uh, the numbness goes away from that original, you know, thing the shot I took, so that is numb for the surgery. So, uh, yeah, anyway, so I took, so I can't use, like, I can't put any pressure on that until that goes away. But once that goes away, and then I'm just on the Percocet, and that's it, 
then I can actually put some weight on this leg with the assistance of the crutches still, but it'll still be nice. So then at least, you know, if it hurts a lot, then I shouldn't put weight on this leg. So yeah, that's my legs and stuff. So if you're getting ACL surgery soon and uh, you're concerned or scared, there's really no reason to be. I, for some reason, I guess I watched a lot of the videos on YouTube that people posted about their ACL surgeries and I wasn't very nervous after watching those videos. So I was never really nervous going into it and I'm glad I wasn't because there was really nothing to be nervous about. At least at the place I went to, the doctors were really nice. Everyone knew what they were doing. I felt like I was in really good care, so that was awesome. So yeah, if you have a surgery coming up, don't be nervous or anything. And I'm sure I'm going to be making another video tomorrow, of course, because this is my ACL story. wouldn't be a story if it didn't go on for a long amount of time. So I'd imagine tomorrow I'm probably going to be like cursing and like in a lot of pain and everything because the numbness will go away, but nonetheless, Every day is a day closer to being back to normal, so I am hopeful, you know, to be back to normal and go back to my normal life. So yeah, so anyway, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos about my ACL story coming up. Thank you so much and take care.